Cicero, Ordratio in Catalinam Prima, Episode 7. Nos autem fortes virdri satisfacerdre, rdre i publica evidemur, si estias furdrordre mactela uitemus. In the previous sentence, Cicero remarks that Catiline is marking out each of them for death, at caedem, for slaughter. Nos autem, but we. Autem here is being used in the adversative sense, that is, however. It also has a continuative sense, that is, moreover, which is not what I think it means here. But we, fortes weary, although we are brave men, fortes weary, masculine, plural, and nominative, although we are bold men, and this is said with a dripping kind of irony, although we are bold men, we, satis facer de republicae videmur, to do enough for the republic, we seem, or we seem to ourselves, or perhaps even we think. Videmur is first plural, and it is present, indicative, and, of course, passive voice. We seem to accomplish enough for the republic. Satis facere is sometimes written as one word. Facere is an infinitive of the third conjugation, and satis is an adverb. Republicae is feminine, singular, and dative. This is the dativus commodi, the dative of advantage. We seem to do enough to the advantage or for the good of the republic. So the subject of videmur is weary, modified by fortes. We seem to do adequately, to act sufficiently, for the benefit of the republic. Re is the rei is the noun race. Its fifth declension race. Rei, feminine, and publicus aum is an adjective. When combined together, we have that which, rei, that thing which belongs to the people as a whole. And therefore, one of the definitions of res publica is given by Roman authors as res populi. Res publica is res populi. Commonwealth is a word that captures well the notion of rei publicae, even though the word commonwealth, common, i.e. belonging to the people, and wealth, the thing, the possession, even though this word is archaic. So we seem, though we are brave men, we seem to be acting adequately on behalf of the Republic, see if, istius furdrordre mactela vitemus, if that man's, istius with reference to Catiline, and masculine singular genitive, this is the irregular demonstrative iste. I say that it is irregular because in the plural it functions like a normal first and second declension adjective, but in the singular it has some surprising forms like istius for the genitive, isti for the dative, and this is for all three genders, and isto, masculine and neuter, ista, feminine. The objects of Vitemus are furorem, masculine, singular and accusative, and tela, neuter, plural, accusative. If we merely avoid the wrath and darts or arrows or shafts of that man, i.e. Catiline, we tame us is first plural, present, subjunctive, and active. It is from the first conjugation verb, wito, witare, it has nothing to do with life, with the noun vita, though students often make that error, and nothing to do with the verb vivo, vivere, meaning to live, though again students often confuse the forms. Vitemus is subjunctive because we have here what's called a mixed conditional. The C clause, or the protasis, contains a present subjunctive, namely vitemus. That's the subordinate clause. The apotasis, the then clause, contains a present indicative, we de mur. So while the protasis is a future less vivid, the apotasis is a simple fact, future. The term telum, of which this is the plural, is a generic term for any kind of projectile. Here we see a Roman pilum, that is a long javelin meant for inflicting damage at a distance. Clearly that's not what Cicero means by the shafts of Catiline, tela istius, something more like a dagger thrust, but it is helpful to illustrate how the Romans conceived of a telum generally, any projectile.